This is Tracy. Hi, this is the home run. Hi, so nice to see you. How are you? It is an honor to meet you. Thank you for taking this time today to do this. I know I knew your name before um, I knew Dave, so I'm so excited to meet you. So nice to meet you, too. I would like to see some of the house if you could do it, um, only because I have to see it. Um, I do have questions uh, because that will kind of facilitate spirit coming through. Okay. How does Tracy spell her name? Is it with a Y or an I E? A Y. Okay, good. All right. So, Tracy, let me ask you. You've got activity in your house, correct? Correct. I'm getting that you've got more than one spirit there. Yes. I'm already getting it. I'm getting that there's two. Okay. So. Definitely, I'm picking up on the male. Matter of fact, when I was talking to Dave the other day, I said, I really am getting a male. But this male, for some reason, I, I don't think he's a very nice male. He's a very grumpy male. And I'm getting that like loud and clear. Why I'm saying this is because he really believes that this is his house and this is his territory. He doesn't want to share it. Okay. This is a male who definitely wants to be alone. So you're the intrusion to him. Okay. I know it's a hard thing to, to hear, but to spirit, he's earthbound. This is the spirit that's never crossed over. He's very earthbound. So when I get this vibe, it's more like this is my house, this is my territory, and if you're going to get in the way of it, I'm going to I'm going to make it hard for you. And that's exactly what I think he's doing. So he must be tied to the land because this house is relatively new. It's always to the land. Okay. Always. Okay. And I tell this to people because I have many clients that do a lot of teardowns and they put these million dollar homes up and they think it's up because it's new, it's okay. It's not okay. The land, any house that goes on to an to a existing land and, and if somebody doesn't want it, they will continue to haunt it. Do you okay? have a, a sense of why it would be affecting my little parcel of land. I live in a subdivision, but not the house next to me or across the street. Because this is a man that definitely had this criteria. I do think, and I hate saying this, but I think that there was a lot of animals that died on this land as well. Do you, do you get a sense of what time period this man was here? Oh, I'm going to say probably between the eras of the 20s and the 40s. So it could have been during the Great Depression. Oh, it was definitely the Great Depression because, number one, he was a farmer. Number two, he really did a lot with his animals. There was a lot of killing of the animals because it's how he had to eat or sell things. This man, I see a lot of knives with this man, and I see a lot that he did with his hands. Um, so I definitely, I hate to say it because, you know, when you're not a farmer, you don't understand that way of life, but that was what he did to make his money is through the animals. So this is definitely a man who used his animals and did a lot of cutting up and all of those things. So yes. Okay. Do you, uh, do you see any sons around him, his sons, or just him? I see a lady with him. And this woman was probably somebody that he was married to, but didn't really have a voice. Because this man was the head honcho. I can tell you this already. Okay. Um, and I'm just seeing her. So she was the one who kept everything clean and did the, did the things around the house. That's what I'm getting. I'm not getting a sense that this woman had a voice. I'm not. Um, he also had, you know, one type of son, and he was a larger man, okay? I don't know if this was the son, but this man was younger and was larger. He's a taller man, and I'm getting that, like, loud and clear. And I see this man with some overalls on, like torn-up, jean-type, raggedy overalls. And this okay. would be, he would be younger than the farmer? Yeah, okay. he, this man was definitely, could be his son, or could okay. be a worker on the farm. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting that. I'm not necessarily thinking he may have been a son. If he was a son, okay, but this man was a little bit bigger, stockier type of a guy. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Now, I'm not sure if this is his son or not yet. That's why I'd like to, to kind of take a little walk through with Dave when this is all said and done, because then I'm going to get it. Okay. There are certain areas of your property that's going to be very decisive in showing Dave and I, where it is, where the activity is. There's different parts to your place where activity is higher. 
than me right now. Right. Okay? So that tells me what they did in that area. Oh, okay. Okay, this is why you're going to have parts to the house uh, of activity because this is maybe where the outhouse was or this is where they had the barn. And, and right now you've got a house out there and, well, there's no barn, so why is it over here? But I keep getting that. Okay. Do and you... I keep getting to the left of the house. Oh, I just got that. So as you're looking house. out to the street or looking at the house to the left? Looking at the house to the left. Okay. I'm getting strong activity to the left of the house, looking at the house. Okay. Okay? So that's what I'm coming up with now, with just Dave sitting there. That's all that I'm getting Okay. Right now. So I just, another general question. I've got to believe because the, the farmland was so big mm -hmm. that... Do you think this activity is happening in other houses and people just start picking up on it? Do you think it goes? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And here's another thing I want to say. Back in the day, when people died, they were buried there. Everything was there on their property. You know, there, there were no cemeteries when they could bury their, their, their families in a designated area, you know, and they, they could bury them there. So that's another thing where activity could be very strong as well. Do you do you have a sense of why we're noticing it? That the I am noticing it in the house, or is it drawn to me, or I just happen to be sensitive to it? You're very sensitive to it, and spirit loves to hang out with people that are sensitive. Now you're gonna say, well, why? Because they're drawing on more energy. That's what's making them more powerful. And I'll bet you there's times when you feel very tired. Yeah, I, I don't wake up in the morning and feel refreshed, ever. No. Okay. They love, this is how Earthbound Spirits really live. They live on grabbing people's energy, and this is what's making them flourish, and then leaving us depleted. That's why I call them the energy vampires. They, they are sucking your energy out so they can prosper and, and be stronger. So you're getting this, the sense just and talking to me that I I might be able to pick up on this more than my neighbors? Absolutely. Okay. And, and now wait a minute. Here's another thing I want to say. There's activity in other places. There's activity all around us because there's a ton of earthbound spirits. Right? right. But some of the earthbound spirits are okay with other people taking over their property and things like that. They just kind of want to be a roommate. This guy is not really happy because he's kind of saying, you're not going to tell me what I'm going to do on my land, this is my land. Okay. okay. That's why I tell people, if this was a really bad entity, you would be out. I have many people that had to walk away from their properties and can't even sell them because they just can't do it anymore. Yeah. If they, and seriously, uh, spirit has power to do that. So if you ever at one point think that they can't do it, trust me, they will because you'll never see a good day. So that's why I've even done YouTube videos on this. If you can make peace with the spirit that's with you and really respect what they do, they will in turn respect you too. Okay. 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 So it, okay. it's okay for me to have that conversation. I'm not encouraging its presence by doing that. No, I think if you if you had a conversation like that, you're going to get more out of him. In a positive and, way. You will. You'll get more out of him. His, lead you into directions that may even help you but he is going to give you answers and, and spirit does lead us to the answers okay so as of now you're only picking up them two nothing else coming in and out from right the, now from the land? no okay right now no okay did you and i know this sounds really crazy i'm going to ask tracy this do you ever see anything flying flying yeah do you, no do you ask, uh, yes or no no okay I see, actually, it's, it's somebody who's got a beautiful presence to her. And I actually think she's the one who's keeping me protected in a lot of ways. And it's a female energy. Oh, I'm very serious. My, um, I believe my daughter saw that when she was young. Uh, oh it would follow her around the house. Yeah. Um, and she would describe it pretty vividly as far as what she could see. Yeah, that might be I just see her with her, you know, like, um, flowing. And That's exactly like, how she described her, yes. Thank you. Okay, she just came through to me, and she's letting me know 
that she's protecting you, okay? Protecting all of you. She's become, uh, I don't know necessarily if she's an angel, but I definitely see this uh, spirit guy with such love and a presence here. So I do. Now, is she connected with the farmer? The answer is no. <laughs> so it's 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 not a it's not a spirit guide. It's just a, a spirit around here protecting the family or protecting the daughter. I do, I do, and I and I love her because she's flying around me right now and I see her, and it's really nice. It's a, it's a nice thing to have. Good, you know, it, it is. It's quite beautiful. So you know, we've got some ones that, eh, and then we've got some ones that are like, oh, you, know, you got that too. So it's nice. Good. I don't feel anybody's going to harm you. Like I said, if they would, they would have done it already. And right. maybe you'll know. <laughs> right. You'll know. They don't make mince words. When they don't watch you, they want you out. <laughs> I don't see you having anything okay. like that. So he's he's kind of tolerating us, perhaps, right now. I think he is. And if he had to choose anybody, then maybe you're as, as good as anybody else could be if he had to pick. Okay. So Okay, if you're just doing, you know, he was a man that he was a straightforward man. I feel that he was a no nonsense man. This is the personality that I'm getting. But this is a man who had animals. And seriously, I see a lot of, like, if he had goats or if he had chickens, you know, he would cut them up and kill them and, you know, make food and sell. I mean, this is what his hands. And I see the knives. Now you're going to say, oh, but how do you think we can eat our chickens? I mean, we, we need people like that. That's exactly what he was doing. Okay. Do you, do you pick up on that maybe his family starved to death on this land? I definitely see a lot of poverty on this land. Okay. This is what I'm saying. Whatever he could do, whatever animal he could kill, this man was doing it. <clears throat> okay. So for, for his survival, his family's survival as well. Do you see a color at all of that flying spirit? That flying spirit? Yeah, the, the good one. Is there a color to it? It's all light. It's light colors. I don't see anything darkness with her. I know, and I see flowing. It's like chiffon of flow, you know? My daughter would say blonde hair. Yeah, but everything about her is light. Okay. okay. From her garments to her coloring, it's all light. And I see this beautiful light around her, and she's flowing. She can very well be an angel. She can why do we do? Okay, we're gonna try to go mobile with uh, my iPad. So if if we log log off here and try to recall me, um, I should be able to pick up via the Wi-Fi on, on my tablet. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I, I'm gonna I'm, call and then re pick it up again off the off the tab. Yeah, I'm gonna disconnect from the computer here, and then uh, I'll I'll pick it up with the uh, iPad. All right, not a problem. Okay. All right. I'll call you right back. Okay. The right of the fireplace is the activity. The right. No, you're good. Keep going. Okay, I've got that room now. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to go in a circle. So the right of the fireplace. I see the man right now. He's there. The farmer? Do we, um... He definitely wants to make himself visible to me. I see him. Let me know if you get any type of names or anything. Just... I will. Okay. Like, you get any J's. J's? Uh-huh. Okay. Like the Jerome or Jerry or... There's something with the J. I have been told by a psychic at one time that there was a portal in this room in the exact place that Travis had mentioned a couple of minutes ago on you the video. You want to come and point that out sure. to us? She said it was here. You know, it's funny that you said uh, the right side, right here. Uh, they were told that it um, could be a portal there. Yeah. Travis thought that as oh, well. It was Tra yeah. Mm -hmm. They thought maybe that was a, a portal in this corner that you said. Yeah. I see this man coming to the wall right now. Interesting. I hate to say this, but here's the thing. Everybody kind of like wants to come to Tracy's house and hang out there. Spirit-wise? Yeah. From other areas? Yeah. Yep. And that's there always is you know, one or two in the area where they're going to get the most activity. They 
kind of thinking about like when you're alive and you have kids and you're the one house that all the things come to. Well, it's kind of the same thing with the spirit. You're the one house that the spirit's gravitate to it is. You know, you need to really open up your windows a lot if you open up your blinds. Um, I tell people this all the time when they get all the darkness, you really attract spirits. And so you don't want that. Earth don't like a lot of light. You like dark. So open up your shades, open up your blinds, open up your curtains. And during the day, let that light come through. All right, thank you. Good tip. Okay? That's a big thing. When you have ears in the house, you should always stage into that ear. Spirit mm -hmm. loves mirrors. You're going to say, really? Yeah, really. They go into it and they come back out and go back in again. Oh, very So staging mirrors would be a real asset to do. All right, or not having mirrors at all. It sounds like I, I could go in that direction. But here's the thing, too. You're not going to stop living like you're doing vegan. You like mirrors, there's something wrong with having them. I mean, I, I'm a person, I'm not changing my life for them. I'm not. I refuse to do that. If I like a mirror, I'm keeping my mirror there. But there's ways to attract goodness to clearing that energy surrounding that mirror. In the past, they had uh, experience. Uh, with a mirror and uh, other reflections, so I see it. Yeah. yeah. The reason I'm talking to you about this is because I see what I see. You need to get rid of that picture. Sorry. Done. I don't Burn like it tonight. Yeah. Seriously, now I'm getting a lot of good energy from that picture. Yeah, he didn't have any good energy around him, so okay. Yeah, get rid of it because his energy is attracting all the bad energy of earthbound spirits. Either way, it works. It's like a domino effect. Okay, thank you. I keep on getting okay. charges. Do you? Yeah. It's what? like I keep on walking and uh, getting charges like every two, three minutes. It feels like I'm getting whacked with energy. You are because you've got energy right here, so I see it. So we get the left? Okay. Let me know if I'm going too fast. Yeah, past the pole. Poltergeist here. Okay. I did have an experience uh, down here, uh, I don't know how long ago. Four years ago, about four years ago, like poltergeist type activity. Yep, it's all there. Okay, so I see it. This is a very strong portal of the house. Any is there a this will be a future conversation, but is there any way to close a portal? Well, there is, but you know, I don't have to come and do it. You can't do so. Okay. All right, well, we should could, but we should go. I all have right. to eventually come out there and really get all those spirits and make up the life for them, but I have to get them to cross over. It's the only way. I, mean, I know you got a lot of stuff there, but it really helps to clear out things that you don't use anymore. That's exactly what I was going to do by the end of this summer for that reason. You should. I tell people, when you have to start attracting spirits. I. I, I with my own eyes, I don't think it was a light flickering, but I, I thought I saw like a snake black shadow. It's not the best in there, sorry guys. It's not, not like it. Is, um... Can you get rid of these? Um, it's actually going to be easier to focus on how I'm going to hang out there later myself. Okay, so once I clean out the space, it's possible that if I saged in the correct it. way, I could at least calm this down? Saging. Yeah, I would definitely start saging every day. And then, like, when you get it under control once a week, twice a week. Okay, saging but the whole house every day, or saging this particular area every day? No, if you're going to do saging, you're going to do the whole entire place. Okay, okay. And there could be old items here holding uh, different type of energies, too, that be causing causing problems, correct? Right. You're right on it, David. Yeah. It's a great thing what you just said. Stop right there. Stop. 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 Right there. Right there. Yep. What um I just saw 
right now. Oh, that's great. Is this, uh, oh no, this is not the stairs where you was, or is this the ceiling where you think things pop up? Like go through? Right it? above here. Yeah. The hallway. The hallway? The little hallway? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, she was. That's where they go, right up. It's not right up. Door three, right here. Wonderful. So they're just like passing through. Yep. Okay. They're not really hanging out in the house. They're just kind of passing through. Because of everybody right now, you know, you're thinking about spirit, you're talking about spirit, you're trying to nail down spirit, and actually we're all bringing them forward by speaking about them and thinking of them. It's our energy that's bringing them to Really? That's okay. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm just able to get into it. Okay. All right, we're gonna continue on. I'll give it a 360 closet there. I'll go slow. This was sort of like all tied in to the original where this man had a lot of garbage there. I hate to say it, but that space is just very unhealthy to me. Your son experienced it, right? Yeah, I was going to say, if you're going to put a bed in there, I don't know if that would be a great it idea. Was, it was a bedroom for some time, and the boy who was sleeping in here refused to sleep in here alone. He's right. He's right. It's horrible. I got chills right now. So do I. Right before she said it. So it needs to be, I mean, leave it as like a game room, and people they have fun with it, but nobody should be sleeping there. And is it different energy or does it go back to the farmer and uh it's not the farmer not in here I the farmers that are, no i'm just getting that it's not a great thing there's a lot of sadness that happened here not killings but it's sadness so we got to get it happy again and the, and the one thing to do is we got to clear it we got to get them to go they need to go so, you know I, mean, I say this all the time there is no room for an earthbound spirit to stay here they need to go above, and they need to cross but, over it, with God. We can't force them unless they're willing, correct? They have to be willing, yes. absolutely. Okay. This is where I see the lady, and I like it here. Yeah, it's, it's wherever we're moving your hand is a nice room. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, sorry, I'm like, this, is it, well, it's a it's computer office area, area, office area now, but it's right off the kitchen. Okay. The kitchen is right here where he's standing. Okay. It's a nice area. It's, I don't get any unpleasantness in that room. No. Yeah. You have 80 square feet, a nice area. Okay. okay what, where was that ceiling that she was feeling it was coming up? Where that area of activity was that it's coming up from the basement was so this, right this here, area which is a hot spot. From the basement, you said they're coming up. So you were saying before uh, even talking to you, that the area where he's in there coming up, and you say you, you felt like they were rising through. This has always yeah, been a hot spot. Yeah, this is a hot spot. spot for them. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. okay let's go up. I, I want to go up. I want to go up. Okay. Um, I feel very heavy with this room. Yes. Here. Okay. You know, I'm going to give a 360 here. Let me know if I'm going too fast. No, you're not going too fast. Okay. So I'm going to lead uh, out towards the, the stairs in the hallway. Uh, this room has a history of activity. When I had mentioned that um, I asked the spirit when I was in here, I, I felt the negative energy. I was putting away laundry for my son. And I was just so frustrated. I said, it, show me if I'm crazy or not. If you're here, give me a sign. And the, the lights went on and off like that. Uh, where he most recently saw something, he saw a, a woman standing here. He woke up in the middle of the night, and the woman was standing um, in front of his bed looking at him, so in front of the closet. Okay. And he described her as having... 
long, dark, curly hair, maybe down to here, older woman. Uh, but he described, uh, at least from the neck up, what she looked like pretty clearly. He said he couldn't make out the whole body. Now, now this is the daughter's room. Oh, my finger, I'm sorry. What's that angel? Yes. Okay, you see that angel? I want you to get a statue of Archangel Michael. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes. Okay, that's a really good show to put it on, and you should have one in every bedroom. Oh, okay. Okay, because Archangel Michael is the protector. He's the head honcho of all the archangels, and he is going to actually protect anybody from harming your children in an energetic way. Okay? So I'm a big advocate for him. So um, you need to put him on that shelf. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to spin around. Spin around. What room is this? This, this is the, the master bedroom. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, here's the bed. And then, um, and that's a bathroom. Do you know that sometimes Tracy's boyfriend feels things in this room? He'd just she, be lying there and all of a sudden he'll see something or feel something. Because I ain't feeling it. They're shaking their head, yes? Yes. I know. You could be lying in bed and I'm actually having an out-of-body experience watching Tracy's boyfriend laying in bed, and I could see things kind of like happening there. Nothing's happening, it's just that I think what he feels and what he senses there that he can actually see. And it's because he's sensitive to it that he can't see it. I mean, he doesn't have to do anything, and he still can see it. So does it... Does it watch us sleep? Sometimes. Oh, that's great. Would you explain? Okay. Would right. you? A lot of spirits see me sleep. And here's what you say to them. If you're feeling something or they're not letting you sleep, what I always say to them is, guys, because you have to understand, spirit has no conception of time. Right. So what you need to say is, I really need to get sleep, and tomorrow if you want to give me a message, then you can show me or tell me tomorrow. But please, could you just give me till... 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. They usually obey them. Okay. They have no consensus of time. None. Do you feel anything in that corner where I'm facing? Th yeah, that's... I do. What, uh, if you could describe or what you're feeling? Uh... It's a mix. You've got, like, the angel looking, and then you've got the earthbound spirit that's there. So I don't see anything really happening to harm. I what will it... tell you. Would it be the, the Farmer Joe or Farmer Jay, um, or the the female, or or this is just something different? No, I'm not getting the farmer at all. I'm not, not there. Okay. Uh -huh. Any male I'm presence? getting the female. Her presence is definitely upstairs. Female upstairs? Yep. Any activity I've ever felt in the bedroom I'm not counting what happened in the hallway because I consider that the hallway didn't cross the threshold of the door has been here. So if I ever feel something watching me, if I'm in bed, it's from here. And for a couple of years now, there's something that stands here, not all the time, but often, and watches us when we're in the bathroom brushing our teeth, washing our face, whatever. So it's not to. actually in the bathroom, it's right, right where you're standing. Okay, here. perfect. So and. Uh, a couple of months ago, my son came to me and said, you know our bathroom's haunted, right? <laughs> and I knew. <laughs> I knew about the figure, but I'd never said anything to him, of course. And I said, oh, what are you, what are you talking about? And he said, there's something that stands right here. Hey, you want a bedroom up there? Do you have a master bedroom up there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So give me a bigger view of it. Closer up. Or, you, oh, a back. Okay, I'm sorry. Here, you know, let me come from this angle. Okay. You see? Uh, 
Um, behind the master would be uh, the uh, stairwell and, and then his room. Yes. Above the master or to the right? Yes, I guess it's the master. Wait, wait, wait. You see the triangle? There's the master. Now you go to the back and there's a sideway Yes, yes. That's it, right there, guys. The, the, the sideway tri over the over the garage. Yep. So that's yeah, the hallway in his bedroom. And that would be a direct line to the basement. And that would be a direct line from that area in the basement you said was active. So it's through there. Wow. Okay, now focus on your equipment there and you should be getting some pretty good activity there. Well, I, I can't thank you uh, enough. I, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely very helpful uh, for us and uh you know for uh tracy and and uh for filming purposes i think it's going to do well good good well good luck and thank like you I said, watch the video and if i can be of any help you know just let me know okay i really I appreciate all that all right it was thank such you. A pleasure to meet you tracy and i mean that it's great to, to, to see you dave i miss you yeah, thank you so much <laughs> okay all right we'll talk soon Bye, Thanks, guys. Susan. Thanks, Susan. Bye. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Tell Tom we said bye. I will. Okay, bye. thanks. Bye. Bye. Man, I'm surprised there's no trappiness with the, with the Wi-Fi. So she really just confirmed. She and nailed every single spot. It was really good validation. You know, you, you sense it, but then you wonder, maybe I... It's, it's cool when she said... No. Uh, Right there, the, you know, the ceiling. And sh I'm like, oh man, I bet that's the hallway you were talking uh -huh. about. Uh-huh, yeah. So. Or to the right of the fireplace. Oh, to the right of the fireplace. Yeah, you called oh, yeah. that. That was, that, that was pretty, uh, yeah. pretty amazing. You called a lot of the areas.